Hello everybody, welcome to Friendship Shaving. Thank you very much for joining me today where I will be using a Polish razor, some Polish shaving soap and a Polish razor blade. Um, I'm going to start with the razor. I'm going to be using the Prow razor from Stando Razors and I have it here. I have an, a Rizomet Pole Silver Blade, which I believe are Polish. And uh, I've cut that in half rather than breaking it, which I will explain later. And I got that pressed into the head cap there. It fits between the little posts you can see and it fits in there very tightly indeed. This is uh, all got a satin finish, very nicely finished. No machine marks on it at all. Here is the guard plate, you can see. The name of the razor, Pro and Stando. And we will pop that on and it fits very nicely indeed. Put a little nitro washer in and we will tighten up the handle. And I'm going to make sure this is really tightly on. And there we are. You can see that the blade is in. fits very nicely indeed. I like the handle on this riser. The uh, knurling or the pattern is really it really allows you to have a good grip on the razor. So there we are. That is the razor today, the Prowl razor. I'm going to be using my um, Mohawk brush that I've restored. And I've got some soap on that. Already lathered up and ready to go. This is a Polish soap made by a small little workshop in the city of Budgorski and I hope I have pronounced that correctly in Poland a beautiful looking city it smells to me when I first put my nose into the soap It smells slightly similar to um, Fine's American Blend. But in actual fact, when I looked at the ingredients for American Blend, there's no scent notes that match up, but it does remind me of that. The scent notes in this soap are laurel wood and rum. I'm unsure what laurel wood smells like, but it's one of those soaps that when you come back to your brush the next day, the brush smells beautiful. And uh, what I'm getting as I put it on is almost a sort of like an aniseed type scent perhaps but there we are a little polish soap made in a workshop near a soap museum uh, which is a wonderful thing detailing the history of soap in poland from you know middle ages onwards now we have to the razor ready to go. Let's see how we go with this. Now the Prowl razor is described and I've got it written down here as a delicate shave. It is very mild 
and accurate and it does not cause cuts or irritation. It certainly feels that way on this first pass. It is very comfortable of about three days growth. It can be a little bit of a noisy razor. I think some of that comes from the way that these half blades are held in razors of this style. But uh, this is, as I described it to you, very mild, very comfortable razor to use. It suits this blade, this is a nice blade. The first blade I used in it was one that I broke in half rather than cut. And what I found when I broke the blade is that the, let me just reach for a half blade without cutting my fingers. The edges where you break it sometimes curl up like that and what I found with this razor is that that part that curved up caused a little bit of spring back so as I was tightening the handle there was a little bit of movement in the head and I had to really tighten that down and it, of course it didn't go, it didn't clamp together fully because of the spring in the blade. And uh, I had a pleasant shave, but there was a little more movement in the front of the blade than I like. It wasn't uncomfortable at all. But it was a very loud shave. Um, so that's something to bear in mind if you, you have one of these type of razors. Um, I found that cutting the blade is much better than snapping it in two. And of course you can buy these um, half blades you know they're already cut at the factory uh, and they are nice and flat so that's an option for you but I can tell you that is a very nice first pass it's taken a lot of hair off yeah very nice the soap is nice I can feel there's lots of slickness on the soap it's not an expensive soap, I will put the link to their website in. This is the only shaving soap that they do. But it's nice to try a little bit of shaving soap. And on the front there, you can see some trees. I assumed that they were pine trees, but perhaps they are laurel trees. Um, yeah, I'm unsure about that. But... Uh, there we are, smelling much nicer now that it's settling in a little bit. And I do like this brush. So I hope you're doing well. I hope some of you have enjoyed 
the Jubilee celebrations that have been going on this weekend. Did you see the sketch where the Queen invited Paddington to tea? That was rather marvellous, I thought. There we are, ready for the second pass. Excuse me, when I look at my other mirror here, there we go. So second pass, of course, is going to be very mild indeed. Very comfortable. Perhaps you can hear there's a little bit of noise there. It's quite a noisy razor. Stanislaw, who makes these razors, uh, names his razors from Slavic mythology, hence the name Prowl. They are named after a group of people going way back that lived in the Hamburg and Lübeck area of what is now Germany. I feel it's the name is not quite as impressive as the Zoria, the goddess of the dawn. <laughs> Love that name. But the razor is very impressive and um, I do like this one. The razor sells at £117 or thereabouts. It is 110 grams in weight. So not too heavy and it is uh, 95 millimeters in handle length. So a little bit longer than that. Probably 100, 100 millimeters. Um, fits very nicely in my hand I must say and it is there's the balance point, more or less. It is a nicely balanced razor. I was having a little conversation with uh, within the comments section about razors that have a zinc alloy head and a heavy stainless steel handle. Although they are inexpensive and you know it's easy to buy one, I feel that those razors often lack a little bit of balance with being so handle heavy. I think most people would agree with that. So it is nice to to get a user razor that is beautifully balanced in the hand and doesn't feel either too head heavy or too handle heavy. Now, here we are. Um, perhaps you can see against the grain no problem at all. It's uh, taking the hair off really well.
just tidy my face up a little bit here with these soap marks. It's a strange thing, but I don't like to leave soap marks across my face when I shave. So uh, if I'm getting them, I think it's a timely reminder to rinse the razor. end up with soap right up there. I don't need to shave up there, I'll just do it anyway. There we are, what a lovely shave. There we are. Another nice razor from Poland, the Prowl razor. Very nice indeed. So uh, we'll rinse off. Oh yes, I'm just going to trim these areas here. I've got plenty of slickness on the soap. yesterday so uh, left it a little bit untidy on those areas beautiful slickness on the soap and that is a really apart from my usual bits that is a BBS shave guys really comfortable shave very nice very nice indeed very slick soap Oh, wonderful. Gosh, I was looking forward to that shave, guys. I really was. I'm as smooth as a baby's backside. Now, what are we going to use today? I'm just going to use, I think, a little bit of our survey says. A little bit of Parasso White Balm. With the apple and lime, gonna add that to the uh, to the laurel wood and rum scent of this soap. Do you know? Have you ever found some soaps very nice when you use them, but when you smell your brush the next day, some soaps smell awful. On the brush, you know, even you know, you've obviously washed your brush out and cleaned it, but there is sometimes a scent that remains on the brush that smells unpleasant. This isn't one of those, in fact, the brush smells phenomenal the next day. So, there we are, guys. Thank you for joining me today for my show. I hope you are keeping well. Enjoy your week and I will see you very soon for another show. All the very best now. Bye bye.